Okay, I've got this motor out, and uh, it's got a little bit of end play. Not much, but it really shouldn't be any. And it's kind of loud when you rotate it. A lot of rolling noise. Nose bearing. There's a tad bit of play up and down, and there really shouldn't be any. So it's going to get a set of bearings because that's what it needs. I'm going to start disassembling. Just four long bolts to go from the nose to the uh, bell end. stator aside, obviously it can use clean. Quite a bit of junk in it. There's one. I'm going to have to clean up this shaft before I try to pull the nose bearing. There's too much junk there. It'll make it really hard to get it off. So I got this one, which means I got the bearing number. And yeah, it feels pretty darn rough. It doesn't roll very good. I'm changing the bearings in this blower motor. Um, pretty much the indications that needed some bearings were that it had a lot of rotating noise when you spun it, and um, there was a little vibration in it. So I took it apart, sure enough the bearings, you know, they're kind of rough, feel like they could have some sand in them or something, and they're at the end of life. So I just took the part numbers off them, and I ordered a couple bearings, and there they are and uh, disassembled the motor. So once it's disassembled, I just blew it out and cleaned it. And the next step was to clean out where the bearings sit in the, the bell end and in the nose end. And so they sit here, and uh, especially on the bell end, there's a little back seat here. And you just clean that out so that no junk will prevent that bearing from sitting uh, all the way down where it needs to sit. And then, uh, little emery on where the actual bearing race sits just to clean it up so that the bearing will go in nice and smooth. Same thing on the nose bearing. Clean up the, the pocket where the bearing sits in there. On the rotor, I mean the, yeah, the rotor, I took some emery to where the bearing sits on both the bell end and on the uh, nose. And when the nose, you have quite a bearing surface here and that bearing's not that wide. So really what you're trying to clean up is the area where the bearing doesn't normally sit because that'll have the most oxidation and junk sitting on it. That way the bearing, when you go to put the next one on, will slide over fairly easy and it won't, it won't fight you the whole way. Other than that, just clean the dirt and junk off the fan. That's ready to go. On this particular motor, I had a stripped bolt here. So all I did was I went and found a bolt it was a similar thread size, and I cut it off, and then I welded the, the, the bolt on the end. So now I've got a new one there with a new nut, and uh, I didn't have to go looking for a 12-inch long, whatever that is, 632 threaded bolt, and you know, pay a ton of money for it. The only other thing that's in this motor is a couple wave washers that go in the, the bell end here to help load the bearings towards the nose. Um, well, actually loads the rotor towards the nose by pushing on the bearing. So, uh, you know, no big deal pushing them up. So now I'll take and I'll press the bearing onto the rotor. 
and then we'll assemble the motor. I'm ready now to press the bearings in on the rotor. Um, I have this little stand. I made it primarily for broaching, but um, I'm going to use it in this case to push the bearings on. So basically it's just a metal frame with a metal plate on the bottom, metal plate on the top, some side plates so that I can push up against this top surface. And then it's got a, uh, a piece mounted on the bottom so that it will clamp here in my vise and won't be bouncing all over the place. Anyhow, so we're pushing the, uh, the bell end first. So this bearing doesn't have much of a shaft to mess with. And the universal thing to push on a bearing with is a socket. Because you've got all kinds of different sizes and we want to push just on the inner race. Like that. We don't want to push on the outer race because then we'll be loading all those bearings with all the force we're putting on there. And we're going to put way more force on in the axial direction than would normally occur when the blower was running. So you could definitely damage a bearing doing it that way that is pushing anywhere but on the inner race. So the socket will go there, the bearing will go here, we'll just get it started here on the rotor. We'll center it up here in our press. Take a little fiddling around, it's an awful lot of pieces to get going at once, but once you get it tight, it doesn't want to go anywhere. There, it's snug, so now I'm just going to make sure that that socket is only on that race. There we go, and I'm going to push it on. There it goes. Alright, the next bearing, the shaft is much longer. So I have a deep well socket that fits the bearing pretty well. Inner race contact only. The problem is it really doesn't go far enough on. At this point, the bearing would only be here. We gotta get all the way back to the shoulder. So just gotta get all the way to that shoulder. So that's not gonna work by itself. So I've got a pipe fitting, and this pipe fitting works pretty well. It's going to only hit the inner race if I'm careful. So uh, that's a, my only option right now. Unless I want to go make a pipe and bore it and all that. And I don't. I found I was having trouble seeing if things were lined up. So I flipped over the entire assembly. And now it's real easy for me to see. And there goes the bearing. And it's seated. Okay, I'm ready to install the rotor. It has its two new bearings on there. We're gonna put the nose cap on first. It should slide on here pretty easy. The fit on the bearings OD is uh, much uh, looser than the shaft. It's not a press fit really. On here, you'll see there's a hole on one side on this particular one and a fitting at the top. That's to lubricate the bearing, not this particular bearing, but some. So this goes up, that goes down, we go in and it locks in place. We'll turn it around, we want to put the end cap on, same thing, be nice if I left the washers in there. These wave washers load up the end of the bearing. We'll put the cap up. thread the bolts through, tighten it up. All right, so there, new bearings installed. Rotates nice and quiet. Doesn't sound like it's full of rocks. Just need to look to make sure the 
the bell end that you have a nice, even, tight gap. You didn't get anything caulked, and uh, both sides look pretty good. It's ready to go back into service.